Okay, time for Bandit level 22 to level 23. Uh, we have a level goal that a program is running automatically at regular intervals from cron, the time-based job scheduler. Look in etsy slash cron.d for the configuration and see what command is being executed. And then we have this note that looking at shell scripts written by other people is a very useful skill. The script for this level is intentionally made easy to read. If you are having problems understanding what it does, try executing it to see the debug information it prints. Okay, so this is rinse and repeat um, from the last exercise, right? We've got a cron job, we've got these configuration files, we just need to see what's going on and find the password from that information. So we're going to do exactly what we did before, which is move into this cron.d directory and have a look. And there's all of these configuration files and we're going to take a guess because level 20, 23, 23 is the next level that this configuration file is the one we want to look at. So we're going to have a look at that one. And we can see that this cron job is scheduled to execute this script. Um, now all this means, by the way, I didn't sort of mention this before, is that the standard output and standard error are both being redirected to dev slash null. So if you remember before, ages ago when we sort of talked about redirection, um, dev slash null is like a is like a black hole. Um, so what, what this means is that any output from this job um, is just going to be discarded immediately. The, pro the script itself is still going to execute and any actions that that script contains are going to happen, but any output is going to be discarded immediately, essentially. Um, okay, so with that in mind, we're going to have a look at this going to copy this and have a look at this script. Okay, so here's the script. This is the meat and potatoes of the of the exercise, right? It's being interpreted by the bash shell again. Um, okay, so yeah, let's do this line by line. Let's do this line by line. Um, so but first of all, we're declaring this variable, right? We've got my name, and we're setting it equal to this dollar brackets who am I, uh, close brackets. So what does that mean? What's this syntax with the dollar and then the brackets? Well, in the um, in the Bash scripting language, this represents this evaluates. So when you've got a dollar and then brackets, it evaluates to whatever the command is inside the brackets. So whatever the command evaluates to. So essentially it's going to run the who am I and then my name is going to be equal to the to the result of that command. Right? So interestingly this script is being ran as bandit twenty three. So who am I is gonna is going to evaluate to bandit twenty three. Um, so we can already say that my name is going to be equal to bandit twenty three when this script executes. Okay now we have this my target variable and we have a, the similar sort of deal right where we're we're executing some command so we've got this big command here okay so maybe we'll come back to this we'll come back to this because this is the 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 sort of the main part of this script I guess in some sense or well, kind of then we have echo copying password file Etsy bandit pass my name to temp my target uh, echo so this is like being output to um, this would be an output, right? Uh, so it's not actually what's happening. This is what's actually happening, right? It's it's reading the uh, password file for Bandit twenty three because we've already established that my name is going to be Bandit twenty three, and it's writing it to uh, a file in the temp folder or temp directory called my target, um, where my target is actually the result of of this command here, okay? Um, we call variables in Bash with a, a dollar sign first, right? So this this is this my name, and this is this my target. So what's happening is it's reading that password and it's it's um, it's writing it to this file. So what we need to do is find out what this is, right? because if, if we find that out, then we can go to the temp directory and read this file, and it's going to contain the password for Bandit23.
great. So we need to evaluate this. Now to evaluate this we need to evaluate this. Um, and let's try and evaluate it shall we? So we're going to copy this and we're just going to paste it here um, in my terminal. Maybe I'll um, Ooh, heck. Maybe I'll make this a bit bigger. Okay. So we've got this command here. Now, the only thing we don't know about this command is this my name variable. But we do know that variable name, right? It's bandit23. Oh, oh yeah, forget it. Sometimes I do that where I highlight. Let's just click. Okay, bandit23. Okay, because that's all that script's going to do, right? It's just going to plug in bandit23 here. It's then going to pipe this echo into md5sum, and then the result of that is going to get piped into this cut command, and then the output of that is going to be the, the, the evaluated sort of pipeline, basically. Um, so we could talk about what md5sum does and what cut does. But to be honest, in the sense of this exercise, there's not much of a point because because it we don't actually even need to know to find out what this all evaluates to, right? The only sort of little piece of information we needed to figure out was what my name would evaluate to, so that we could plug it into here. So, in, as a matter of fact, like I don't even think we, you know, because talking about hash um, functions and all sorts of things is going to take quite a long time. Um, so, for the sake of brevity we can evaluate this, we can just hit enter and we get this um, and so we know now that the the password file got, got wrote to temp this um, so we can just copy it and we can cat have a look at that file and there it is it. It's the password for Bandit Twenty Three. So I hope you, I hope you, don't feel cheated by that because, because that is just an, another way that we can save time, right? We can. This could be a huge, long, complex command, but if we can just notice that, actually, we don't even need to, to really know what this command is doing. We just need to make sure it's evaluated correctly, um, so that we can use that information. To, to find the the flag or the password or you know then then why bother in some sense you know obviously it's great to learn about these functions and we should you know we want to um, so that we have so if ever something comes up where we have to know them um, we can we can use them properly but but I also think it's a bit of a you know helpful skill to be able to say well actually I don't even need to know that here so I'm not going to not going to um, sort of spend too much time worrying about it. Okay, so I hope that's all right and I hope I didn't ramble on too too much then. Um, but we've got the password and I shall see you on Bandit level 23.